We're crossing the half hour right now this morning. Space Shuttle Atlantis flawlessly touches down at Kennedy Space Center just a half hour ago. Here's a look. A lot of emotion today, but one thing's indisputable. America's not going to stop exploring. Thank you, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Endeavor, and our ship Atlantis. Thank you for protecting us and bringing this program to such a fitting end. God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America. The shuttle mission, the final shuttle mission now complete, and the end of the line for the shuttle program and thousands of people who helped put it in orbit. Atlantis will uh, be retired. We'll stay at Kennedy Space Center and be put on display. It's the last time we'll ever see it, the Space Shuttle Atlantis pulling off a picture-perfect landing just before sunrise at Kennedy Space Center. The end of one of the most ambitious programs in human history. Our John Zarella is live at Kennedy Space Center. Hi, John. Hi, Kieran. That's right. Uh, Atlantis coming home. Commander Chris Ferguson. Uh, uh, bringing the vehicle home about 40 minutes ago. As you mentioned, a perfect landing. Live picture from the Kennedy Space Center there. Uh, the shuttle sitting on the ground, the vehicle being safed. The crew is probably already out of the vehicle inside that mobile white room that uh, they pull up right next to the uh, the orbiter hatch uh, and so the uh, the crew's probably in there the flight doctors are in there checking them out making sure everything's okay uh, we expect that uh, commander ferguson uh, may make some remarks uh, a little bit later here this morning uh, after he is uh, checked out by the doctors we're of course waiting on that uh, and as you mentioned a picture perfect landing uh, this morning and commander ferguson with some very poignant words as he brought the shuttle Atlantis to wheel stop. Shuttles changed the way we uh, view the world and it's changed uh, the way we view our universe. It's a lot of emotion today, but one thing's indisputable. America's not going to stop exploring. Thank you, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Endeavor, and our ship Atlantis. Thank you for protecting us and bringing this program to such a fitting end. The, uh, the shuttle Atlantis is uh, going to be towed back now to uh, what's called the Orbiter Processing Facility, the OPF. It'll stay outside there so that the, uh, the, work, or the workforce will be allowed to, uh, to go over there later this morning and get a close-up uh, look at the vehicle. Uh, and then uh, the process will begin to uh, take it from flight ready to museum ready. And uh, in about two years, it will uh, be in its new house over at the, uh, the visitor complex here. It's going to take about two years for them to get that building ready uh, for Atlantis, but that will be its permanent home just a couple miles from here. Kieran, Allie. All right, John Zarella for us, thank you. Well, it is the last time we'll ever see this. The final voyage of the space shuttle program is now complete. Atlantis flawlessly touched down at the Kennedy Space Center about an hour ago. Let's watch. Landing here down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end. And mission complete, Houston. After uh, serving the world for over 30 years, the space shuttle turned its place in history and has come to a final stop. We copy your will stop, and we'll take this opportunity to congratulate you, Atlantis, as well as the thousands of passionate individuals across this great spacefaring nation who truly empowered this incredible spacecraft, which for three decades has inspired millions around the globe. Job well done, America. And let's bring in John Zarella, who watched it live from Kennedy Space Center. Good morning, John. Good morning, Allie and, and Karen. You know, right now there's a live picture at, uh, from the Johnson Space Center that we're looking at uh, uh, where Tony Sakachi, the flight director, just congratulated the, uh, the team there uh, for a job well done. Uh, there were hugs all around. There were some flowers sitting on tables there. Uh, certainly a moment both here and in Houston where, you know, the realization is, is now finally setting in for all of these people that uh, the 30-year program, the, uh, the shuttle program, 
is at an end. It is over. The uh, the orbiter Atlanta is still sitting out there on the runway here. It will be towed over to the uh, or orbiter processing facility called the OPF just a little while from now. The uh, the astronauts have already gotten off. We're still waiting for uh, Commander Ferguson and the uh, the uh, the other members of the crew. Uh, Hurley, the uh, pilot Doug Hurley, uh, also to come out and perhaps say a few words. Uh, and then later this morning, the vehicle again being towed over to the orbiter processing facility where uh, thousands of the, the workers who have spent so many hours on the vehicle, there you can see it close up there, uh, they will have an opportunity to go out and walk around it one last time before it is uh, brought inside the hangar. And uh, it is uh, some of the critical engines are taken out, critical parts are taken out, and it is made museum ready and in about two years it will enter its new home just a few miles from here at the uh, the Kennedy Space Center uh, visitor complex there a beautiful shot uh, of uh, sunrise over uh, early sunrise here over Florida and the uh, the vehicle there sitting there still at the edge of the runway Karen Allie all right John thanks very much uh, it's a, it's a moment we're not going to get to watch again John Zarella at the Kennedy Space Center Stories right now, Atlantis is home. The shuttle flawlessly touched down at the Kennedy Space Center this morning. It was beautiful. The final shuttle mission is now complete. It's the end of the line for the shuttle, though, and the thousands of people who helped put that uh, orbiter in space. Atlantis now retired, will stay at Kennedy Space Center to be put on display. There is the beautiful shutdown momentarily. You will see that shoot deploy. There it is. That was beautiful. Yep, flawless landing. Nice. Sorry. Gordon NASA, Chris Ferguson, the commander of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, is uh, speaking uh, now at Kennedy Space Atlantis, Center. Uh, in a museum now, along with the other three orbiters, for generations that will come after us to admire and appreciate. And hopefully, I, I want that picture of a, of a young six-year-old boy looking up at a space shuttle in a museum and, uh, and say, you know, Daddy, I want to do something like that when I grow up. Or I want our country to do fantastic things like this for the continued future. And if we set those steps right now and they continue with that, that next generation of, of space explorers, then I, I consider our job here complete. So uh, again, on behalf of the crew, uh, thank you so much for uh, the time and the attention. Uh, and for the folks at KSC, thank you for this fantastic vehicle. It performed uh, absolutely wonderfully. Um, not a glitch. And it's, uh, it's just as pristine as it was, I hope, on the day that we took it. Uh, barring maybe a, a door to the WCS, which opened up a little bit on entry. But uh, <laughs> everything is wonderful. The vehicle is great, and thank you very much. All right, that was the commander, Chris Ferguson, of the uh, shuttle flight. They must be excited, except for the fact that they came back to uh, a, a country that is hotter than the environmentally atmospheric entry that they went oh, through. Oh, I seems. know. I mean, boy, they're, we're struggling under a heat wave right yeah. now, and they're, um, you know, it's a, it's a huge day for them, a huge day for NASA, but also a lot of questions about what happens next and Lots when. Of them. Yeah. John Zarella is live again for us at Kennedy Space Center. Hi, John. Hi there. You know, I, I think it's just amazing. You look at the four of them standing there, and it's, uh, you know, uh, Commander Ferguson and uh, Doug Hurley, the pilot, uh, uh, Sandy Magnus and Rex Walheim, the two mission specialists. You know, they spent 12 days in space, and there they are. They're walking around like it's no big deal. You know, an hour and a half after the vehicle landed, they got off. They were, of course, met uh, by uh, by Charlie Bolden, the NASA administrator. Uh, Mike Leinbach, the launch director, was out there. Uh, a lot of glad handing. They walked underneath the vehicle, inspected the vehicle, shook a lot of hands, got a lot of hugs, getting a lot of pictures taken right now, as we can see. And there's that, that wide shot of... Uh, of the the vehicle uh, against the uh the blue sky here, the early morning blue sky in Florida, but uh, it is a tremendous moment. And as you heard uh, Chris Ferguson talking about how, uh, you know, he had the, he said at the beginning of his his remarks that, uh, you know, his dream was flying in space, but it, that that he hoped that all of the thousands of other people, uh, as you see him walking away there, that uh, were part of this great great tradition as part of the shuttle program, uh, that. Uh, he was honored to be part of it and that he took all of them with him uh, when he uh, when he got to fly in space. So, yeah, a tremendous moment for for the crew. And, you know, you wonder, Allie, uh, uh, you know, and, and uh, you wonder what it's going to be like, how 
history is is going to uh, to remember them. Allie, Karen. Yeah, it's a it's a good question. And the other good question, you know this as well as I do. I'm getting I've, I've been in a Twitter argument for a couple of hours with a guy uh, who uh, <laughs> is saying only uh, in commercial breaks, of course. Allie Velshi is talking about the death of the space program, which we didn't say. We said it's the end of the shuttle program. Someone slapped no. that little putz. Um, but uh, let's just put some clarity to this, uh, John. <laughs> disregarding that whether or not yeah. I'm a little putz. Uh, there are people who are saying, what is actually next? This guy is saying, Warren has been tweeting me saying there's the uh, Juno, there's the Grail, there's the Mars rover, there's this project to get people to the right. astronaut, uh, into an asteroid. But the bottom line is there, there, is, right. there are real legitimate questions. There are really people losing their jobs because there isn't a viable program. Yeah, and, it, and it's very similar to what happened after Apollo. I mean, almost identical. Uh, to what happened. Thousands of people lost their jobs, we, for, we forget, right after the Apollo program ended. And, you know, there's going to be something like 2,300 people laid off here tomorrow as we look at the astronaut bus pulling away. Uh, because the next program that NASA is going to try and accomplish is to go to deep space. And that's going to be years from now. So in the interim, the, uh, the Russians are going to be taking U.S. astronauts to the International Space Station. Then commercial companies will take over, taking the astronauts to the International Space Station. And then NASA will eventually go ahead and take, have manned missions, perhaps the asteroids, perhaps Mars. Uh, and uh, what, we're, what your, your friend there was talking about were those unmanned missions. You've got the Juno mission to Jupiter coming up. You've got the Grail mission uh, that's going to the moon coming up. And then the big Big one, MSL, Mars Science Laboratory, uh, which is the size of a Volkswagen, uh, and that is going to be a huge, huge mission, uh, a, a robotic mission to the uh, to the Martian surface. So there's going to be a lot going on in the robotic end of the business, NASA's business, for years to come, for the next uh, several years, and then slowly but surely, NASA promises uh, that it's going to start uh, the first test flights of its new heavy lift rocket about. 2016. So things have not come to a stop at uh, the space agency. Certainly they're winding down for now because of the shuttle program's ending. But at some point, hopefully, it'll all start to crank back up again. Allie, Karen? All right. Very interesting stuff. And of course, there's always the political wrangling back and forth about the funding for NASA and yeah. what, you know, what the long-term uh, plan is for our space exploration. And that's exploration. not really particular. Even though we're in a, you know, in a tough economic situation, there's always been people say, why do we spend our money on right. space versus those who say, why don't we spend more? So do you think this Warren is right? Do you think I should get smacked for that? Well, I, I still, I don't think you should get smacked, and I certainly don't think you're a punt. Thanks. I think that, um, I think that it's, uh, it's not as near, nearly as exciting, the notion of us sending men and women or astronauts into space. It's different, yeah. Versus, yeah. Um, versus some of the other things that are thanks, happening. Thanks for saying I'm not a punt. You're welcome. It's 38 minutes after the hour.